Hey, friends how are you I hope you are fine. Today we share the information about the real eye of Sauron. You are watching YouTube channel information about actor. Hey guys so today we're clearing up something about the chief villain of the second and third ages of Middle Earth. While we've talked a lot on this channel about Sauron during the second age there's a common misconception about the Dark Lord during the Third Age. While the incredible Peter Jackson trilogy brought to life so much of Tolkien's world one of the biggest misnomers resulting from the film that I'm often asked about is the nature of Sauron's form in the later Third Age Sauron in the Lord of the Rings films famously appears as a giant flaming eyeball atop the Tower of Berater while a striking supernatural image this is nowhere near the actual appearance of Sauron during this time or any time for that matter this device did work effectively for keeping Sauron and imposing and all-seeing presence while setting the stakes of his return to his physical form should he regain the ring. However the Eye of Sauron is indeed a canon concept, though it's in a different form entirely. Firstly when Frodo looks in the mirror of Galadriel he sees what may indeed be Sauron's actual physical eye yellow and rimmed with fire with a slit pupil described as a window into nothing while he stays in his fortress of Barader Sauron indeed had a physical form by the War of the Ring. However without his one ring he remains in his fortress while his servants would carry out his battle plans. His physical form is confirmed by Gollum in the Two Towers as he talks briefly about his time as Sauron's prisoner during which he was tortured by the Dark Lord that would be Minas Ithild that Isildur. The son of Elendale built sent for though it was a Sealder who cut off the finger of the enemy alas has only four on the black hand but they are enough said Gollum shuddering and he hated the Theodore. City now we know that Sauron both has a physical form and is not a giant eyeball but the eye of Sauron is indeed a major concept in the books also referred to as the red eye the evil eye the litless eye and simply the eye in these instances rather than an actual eye it refers to a symbol used by the Dark Lord and his followers it is found on orc armor and places where the servants of Mordor had Wrought their destruction the Fellowship has one of their first sights of the emblem of Sauron at Ullman and they have not come very far from the road and yet even in so short of space they had seen the newer wounds made by the orcs and other foul servants of the Dark Lord trees human down wantonly and left to die with evil runes or the fell sign of the eye cut in rude strokes on their bark this emblem was not only a symbol for Sauron's forces, but also a reminder to all of Middle-earth of the Dark Lord's unceasing vigilance and piercing perception not only did he have the Nazgul and legions of orcs and men under his sway but he also had a palanter with which he could survey the lands and affect the minds of others a symbol of the lidless eye was one which would remind the peoples of Middle-earth that Sauron was ever watchful, however we also can't rule out that Sauron himself had a supernatural ability for sight. If we go back even further in Middle-earth history we find that Morgoth the original Dark Lord whom Sauron served was described as having a supernatural ability of sight and perception for when he captures Horan and places him in a seat atop Vangaratum he says. They are full with my eyes you shall see and with my ears you shall hear and nothing shall be hidden from you this ability certainly had its limitations as Morgoth could not use it to discover the hidden elf city of Gondolin however it did allow Horan to know of the misfortune that would fall upon his family as for Sauron's ability to survey the lands of Middle Earth it's unknown how much of this was a result of his possession of a palanter versus his innate power as one of the inner whatever it was Sauron was diligent in his use of it so much so that he would use the emblem of the red eye for his armies the fact that Sauron's orcs used the eye as their symbol helps Aragorn to deduce the meaning of a strange new emblem found on the fallen orcs at Almanhan upon their shield they bore a strange device a small white hand in the center of a black field on the front of their iron helms was set an s rune rod of some white metal i have not seen these tokens before said aragorn what do they mean said gimli that is easy to read nay said legolas sauron does not use elf runes neither does he use his right name or permitted to be spelled or spoken said aragorn and he does not Use white the orcs in the service of Barader use the sign of the red eye he stood for a moment in thought as it's for Saruman I guess he said at length there is evil afoot in Isengard and the west is no 
Longer safe as Sam and Ferdo make their way through Athelia and they discover a once great statue much like the Argona that had been maimed its head removed and in its place a rough hewn stone painted. With a grinning face and a large red eye in the midst of its forehead this leaves no doubt as to who desecrated this monument or whom they serve the symbol is also described as being on the orc. Helmets that Sam brings to Ferdo so that they may go forth from Kirith and Gaul in disguise that is also the symbol that is found on the banner accompanying the mouth of Sauron as he issues forth from the Black Gate to parley with the Man in the West it's a single black banner and bears a red evil eye one of the most chilling appearances of Sauron's symbol comes in the Siege of Gondor for the enemy was flinging into the city all the heads of those that had fallen fighting at Osgilia or on the Ramans or in the fields they were grim to look on for though some were crushed and shapeless and some had been cruelly hewn yet many had features that could be told and it seemed that they had died in pain and all were branded with the foul token of the lidless eye now I do believe the eye of flame atop by a door was effective in the films to convey an ever-present foe and his never-ceasing vigilant gaze and while it also helped to show the audience where the Dark Lord's attention was drawn I personally prefer the book version of Sauron in physical form still marred by the blade of a sealed door it takes us further down the path of each of the Dark Lord's downfalls costing him first he loses his ability to take fair form in the downfall of Numenor, and now he bears a reminder of his sealed door's blade upon his hand which gives some added depth to his hatred of the descendants of Numenor. While it has inevitably caused some confusion to fans over the years I totally understand the use of a more visual and in some ways limited representation of Sauron's form in the films it doesn't ruin my enjoyment of my favorite films of all time nor does it affect my enjoyment of the book version which I prefer in the end I'll envision Sauron as he is in the books the nine-fingered creature of malice pulling the strings in his war against his most hated enemies always gazing throughout the land searching for his enemies and his one ring and while he is engaged in a game of Chess with the men and Mjar of Middle-earth his symbol of the red eye brings fear to those who behold it what other burning questions do you have from Middle-earth? Thank you for watching.